Government has warned public and private schools to desist from charging school fees exclusively in United States dollars or pegging at illegal black market rates. The warning comes after reports that some schools have packed school fees in foreign currency with no option to pay at the prevailing Zimbabwe gold rate. Spokesperson in the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education, Taunga Nandoro, said schools defying the directive will face the music. The ministry's uh, position has remained to be very clear since 2022 where the secretary issued a circular that all currencies are accepted in, under the multi-currency regime and the Ministry of Primary and Secondary Education is no exception. So schools should accept the local currency as legal tender for paying school fees. Schools may pay, uh, may peg their school fees in foreign currency or USDs, but parents and guardians are allowed to pay with the currency of their choice. If they're going to pay with the local currency, they'll pay with the local currency uh, using the interbank rate of the day that the transaction is made and it is considered legal tender. Any schools that are going to start defying this directive will face the music. The Education Ministry says it will dispatch a team to monitor the situation in various parts of the country and schools that will be found defying the directive will face the consequences. And the schools open, the Minister of Primary and Secondary Education will conduct a blitz to see how best they can discipline uh, uh, any headmasters that do not follow to the directive of the ministry. And this applies both to government schools and non-governmental schools, particularly those that you call private schools. They should adhere to the policy handed out by the Minister of Primary and Secondary Education, which is government policy. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo Pazetien Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.